This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2023. Deep gluteal pain syndrome is characterized by the presence of pain caused by extra pelvic and non discogenic entrapment of the sciatic nerve and can occur in any anatomic region of the gluteus. Although deep gluteal pain syndrome remains an underdiagnosed condition, it is often associated with posterior gluteal pain, an inability to sit for more than 30 minutes, posterior hip pain radiating to the posterior thigh, and paresthesia of the involved limb. Although there is no gold standard treatment of this condition, endoscopic management with piriformis tenotomy may be considered effective for sciatic nerve decompression. In this study, researchers from Chile evaluated the medium-term functional outcomes of an endoscopic release technique that was developed by them, which uses modified portals to access peritrochanteric and subgluteal spaces, allows resection of inflammatory processes in both compartments, and eliminates the need for resection of the piriformis tendon. To this end, they collected data from a prospective cohort of 57 patients who underwent an endoscopic operation for sciatic nerve entrapment between 2014 and 2019 with this technique and a minimum follow-up of 22.7 months. The researchers observed improvements on the Modified Harris Hip Score, or MHHS, the 12-item International Hip Outcome Tool, or IHOT-12, and the Visual Analog Scale, or VAS Score. According to the MHHS, 70% of patients had good to excellent results. Moreover, the recovery of sciatic nerve excursion after the resection of the fibrovascular bands was observed in all the patients. Furthermore, Post-operative complications were observed in 12% of patients and included an extensive symptomatic hematoma that required selective embolization of the inferior gluteal artery, hypoesthesia in 3 patients that resolved between 6 and 12 weeks, and dysesthesia in 3 other patients that subsided between 4 and 12 weeks postoperatively. In summary, the technique demonstrated good to excellent outcomes and resulted in decreased pain and increased functionality, regardless of patient age and sex. Thus, the use of this technique can allow adequate resection of the inflammatory processes that generate compression of the sciatic nerve without the need to perform a piriformis tenotomy.